Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Actually, this is not a tutorial, a full tutorial. It's just an answer to a question by one of the subscribers about a composite column under axial load. So that's the question he had. A short I section steel column is encased in a concrete as shown below. An axial compressive force of 1250 kilonewtons is applied to the composite column ignoring the self-weight and any buckling effects and given the modulus of elasticity of steel is 200 kN per millimeter squared and EC the modulus of elasticity for concrete is 25 kN per millimeter squared we are asked to calculate the stress in concrete and the stress in steel then find the total strain in the column okay this is how we can solve this problem these are the assumptions I'm gonna use let P be the total force on the column that's the uh, 1250 kilonewton and PC will be the ax uh, axial force experienced by concrete only and PS axial force experienced by steel the area of concrete that's under compression or the area of concrete experiencing the PC is AC and the area of steel experiencing PS is AS so going back to our basic equations the shortening due to this compressive force in the concrete only assuming it's concrete only it's equal to this equation PL over EA where P in this case is the PC which is the axial force experienced by concrete L is the length of the column EC is uh, the modulus of elasticity for concrete A sub C is the area of concrete or the area experiencing the compressive force on concrete then we can solve for PC by rearranging and we have a PC in this form delta C, delta C, E, C, A, C the whole thing over L similarly we can use the same methodology to do the part for steel so the shortening in steel will equal PS, of, uh, PS times L over ES times AS and we can solve for the force on the steel delta S, ES, AS over L now we know that P is the total force so it's a combination of the force on concrete and the force on steel so we just substitute whatever we know for PC and PS but we know also that the shortening experienced by concrete should be the same as the shortening experienced by steel since it's a composite column so instead of using delta C and delta S we're gonna use just delta so if I substitute delta back into the equation of P now I can have the form P equals ECAC plus ESAS times delta over L if I take delta and L as a common factor but keep in mind delta over L is epsilon which is the strain so now we have a, a form of our equation P the total load on the column is equal to ECAC plus ESAS times the strain okay if I solve for the strain now the strain equals the load over this expression ECAC plus ESAS okay now we have an expression for the strain we can solve for, for the strain if we know the values of P, EC, AC and so on so let's get some numbers here this is the cross section we have so the area of steel is 2 times 20 times 300 plus 300 times 15 
and that will give me 16,500 millimeters squared. The area of concrete is the area of the whole column, which is 400 by 400, taken out the area of steel. Will give me uh, 143,500 millimeter squared. I was given that the modulus of elasticity of steel is 200 kilonewton per millimeter square, and I was given the modulus of elasticity of concrete 25 kilonewtons per meter squared per, per millimeter squared, and I was given P to be 1,250. Now I can use these values and substitute them back into the equation uh, to solve for a numerical value for the strain. So the strain will equal this expression after substituting the numbers and I will get a strain of 0 0.000181. Okay, now we have the strain. How can we solve for the stresses? If you notice, I'm solving the second uh, request or I'm solving B, then I'm solving A, or I'm solving this, uh, the, the second request first, then the first. Now I'm trying to solve for the stresses in the steel and in concrete. Since we have the strain, and the strain here represents the strain in both materials at the same time. So from Hooke's law, we know that the stress equals the modulus of elasticity times the strain. And if I apply this to the steel, I have 200 times the strain I just got, I will get 0.0363 kilonewton per millimeter square and that will equal of course 36.3 megapascals using the same methodology I'm you uh, for the concrete now the stress in concrete equals the modulus of elasticity of concrete multiplied by the strain that's 25 times 0 0.000181 will give me 0 0.00454 kilonewtons per millimeter square and of course that will equal 4.54 megapascals and that should answer the first question thank you